Hey there, Jerry. Uh, sorry I was cutting it short the other day. Um, so here's your video lesson uh, and plus notes on what we covered on um, all we cover on Saturday, um, plus a little bit extra for the for the missed time. Uh, so I'll go through the whole um, the whole uh, arrangement of Summer of the Rainbow with you. Um, cool. So uh, first thing is that you want to be able to play the melody smoothly. So I've tabbed it out here on the handout, like I'm pointing at, like you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, but you want to practice just kind of playing the melody uh, by itself. Let me tip this down so you can see my hands a bit better. Um, and so just practice going. So I would practice like playing the melody by itself, uh, kind of separate from the chords. And then what I did was um, I gave you some of the chords we had talked about, and then some of the chords I thought would be more fun uh, for me at least uh, to have you um, figure that figure out the voicings. So the D minor one I gave you because we already hadn't talked about that. So you have your um, your D minor shape. So the first chord in here is you have your D chord, right? But only make sure you strum to that third string, the highest note of the melody. And then you go to your B minor chord, the one I gave you. We can rearrange that. I was actually playing around with so, and then to and then Right, so uh, that's just me kind of playing around with the chords. Uh, first thing is get the melody down, and then I want you to go through and figure out each one of these chords. The D minor, I said I've already written down for you. The second chord in there is the F sharp minor chord. That's a, um, to give you the, the hint, is the A minor form root five version of the chord. Um, so figure that out for me. D chord should be normal, and then you have your G chord, I'm reading them off in order, uh, is the G chord, and you have two options here, you can use C form G chord, or a D form G chord. Either of those would be good. And I'll actually rack your brain a little bit and see, figure out which one those are. Um, and then finish out the line with an A form D chord. Um, maybe if you slow this video down, you may be able to pick out which ones I was using. Um, but uh, it's more fun to watch you struggle trying to get these chord shapes. Um, and then uh, and then the G chord, it's a, it's a modified G chord. I'll go ahead and show you. So you normally have your G like this, right? But the melody note that we need is the open B string. So we can take this stuff off, play the top part, or play the low part of the G chord. That one right there and then for the G minor chord in the second line um, I would use an E minor form G minor chord like I said I'll figure that one out and then for the D chord uh, sorry here this happens a lot where like you'll have like more than one melody note with each chord um, so when you play right so as I play the D chord I play strum it since it's got the two on the first string and then Three is already fretted there on the on the second string. Open on the first string. So you have and then you go to the B minor chord, which is an A form B minor chord. This one will give you a little bit of a hint is you have your B minor chord, right? And then but you have the two, so you want to strum till so two, and to get the three, you move your middle finger down. And then to E minor. No. So open first string, and then two on the second string, three on the second string, to A7, you should know 
already by root down anyway. And then to the two, so you strum the chord, you get the open there in the first string. And then you go two on the first string, and then finish out with a D chord right there. So we have. Ah, play right. So. So anyway, those are all the chords that you're going to be using for this one, plus the melody notes um, that I want you to practice. Cool, man. Hit me back with any questions you have about that, and um, I will see you next time. All right, bye.